All right, against Paladin. Ugh. I think I still just want to keep the loot hoarder. Hopefully he's like control and not odd paladin. Will I hit legend? Oh, he's actually not odd paladin, nice. I mean, I, I expect that I will hit legend, yes. There's been like two total months since I started playing Hearthstone that I didn't get legend. One of them was a month where I like was traveling for half the month and the other, uh, Savitz literally threw a game when I was one game from Legend, and then, like, I went on a losing streak. He was like, oh, you should do this goofy thing. And it was, like, the last day of the season, when we were doing commentary for BlizzCon uh, opening week. It's pretty funny, actually. Uh, Rub Neus. Thanks for the sub. Welcome. So, what do I think he's playing? Still blaming Savitz after all this time. Oh, I am. Well, if he's playing control, the the Cairn uh, Cairn cube experimenter combo is like what it, is like where it's at. Uh, Go tanks MS. Thanks for the twenty month resub. Welcome back. You can do Zarek in this deck. Zarek doesn't do anything in this deck. I have no spells that target a minion. Five. Uh, let's get a Cabal. Not a Mozzie Horror, that's not good. Okay. You mean the Zeric spell? I had the Zeric spell in the in the deck and it was medium. Very bad. I tried it briefly just for giggles and it was very, very, very bad. Alright, Zilliax. Hmm. Well, I don't have a Psychic Scream. I don't have my Cabal. I'll just play Terran. It does mean that I don't have, like, impenetrable anti-combo cube action. We can still just have sweet cube action later. It doesn't necessarily have to be Karen cube action. And if we, you know, potentially, like, attack this cube Karen, that's obviously very powerful, too. It's gotta be somewhat scary for my opponent to just continue suiting a guy up against the potential of any kind of silence effect. Okay. Pyro Equality. Okay. Interesting. That was a strange choice. If I want, I can just bump this and then Acolyte the 8. Yeah, I think we should just do this. We're still very vulnerable to him just having like a, a buff for this, and then Kangor's gets really good too. Like if he like Anoya modules this, kills this. His like things from Ka for Kangor are like this and the egg. Oh, there's Kangor. Yep. Well, I do not have a Psychic Scream, so I'm in a really bad spot now. There's not many good options here. Could be like some margin of protection against him just pressuring AoEing. We still have Acolyte into Mossy Horror potentially to kill something if it gets big. Why not Cube Egg? Because this gives me stuff immediately that comes out of it if he kills it. Give me two guys, which is actually very valuable. That's annoying, because now, ugh. Now if I do Mossy, he gets a guy off the meat wagon. If like attack here, I can Twilight Mossy, which gives him an egg off of this and this. So, die to a lot of things, right? So I can't really do that. Kind of have to just play Amara here, I think. Yeah. The best card I can draw is Cabal, right? I like a lot. Yep. Oh no, Umbra. Uh, okay, so Psychic Scream would also be real good. 
And I haven't drawn either the Cabal or the Psychic Screen. This is very frustrating. What other death rolls do we have at this? It's just it's just Meat Wagon and Mechano Egg, right? So this guy's not really that threatening. I don't think this gets anything else, right? There we go. Like, if I find Anduin, if I find Psychic Scream, if I find Cabal, all of these are really good. He's already Kangord, so unless he has, like, some some way to get, like, extra Kangor, like Arcane Dynamo, we've been through most of his powerful stuff. I feel like we're getting Quality Consecrated or something. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's actually really annoying because now I can't Primordial Drake without triggering this guy. <laughs> Mirage Collar. So if I Mossy, we give him another 8-8. Eight, eight. That's horrible. If we Primordial Drake, we kill one but give him another and kill this. We could Mossy and then Twilight this guy, but he has more, you know, stuff he can load on it. We could also just not Drake and like leave these up and just play like Bone Drake into Mirage Collar. Kind of like just Bone Drake Mirage Collar. You can always Twilight Acolyte this and Bone Drake. And eh, no, I like Bone Drake Mirage Collar. I'm still at a very high life total. I kind of want to save the Twilight if I can. For a uh, Cabal. Ooh, another Drake. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So now if I ta if I mossy this didn't get, this the previous meat wagon didn't get anything. All right, I think I just Drake here. Actually, this is wrong. I should have hit this guy. I should have just traded this because consecration is really bad here. I'm just gonna do this actually. Whoa! It's a lot of primordial drakes. I should have let this guy die and then healed this guy, because otherwise I lose this guy to consecration. And that's way, way worse. Uther, okay. Well, I can heal this guy in Primordial Drake. And win. Now that all the 8 8s are dead. <laughs> So opponents use both equalities already. I don't really see how he's gonna actually win. Like these decks don't have like the combo pieces, right? Maybe they do. I guess they have Shrink Ray. I think I wanna Alex him. Yep, there's the Shrink Ray. I guess I theoretically should have value traded it in that case, huh? Experimenter. I still have a cube left. Don't I just Anduin ping this and just get him? Let's just trade my guys in. I kind of like having these and forcing him to use this. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna Anduin. Get him. He's already played Kangor's Endless Army, so we're not worried about needing that. We also just have Psychic Screen, too. Get him! Two damage! Consecration, okay. The Rubian Unraveler. Interesting. Hmm. Die to just this weapon now, actually. Huh. 
I have this Primordial Drake, so probably not. So he's both Consecrations. He could have, like, Pyro and a Shrink Riot to kill me, though. I'm not getting more life. I have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Tyrion. Or, uh, Terum, rather. Okay. Hmm, it's actually pretty annoying. I guess I'm just gonna ping a guy. Play another Drake. Yet again. Uh, what's my naturally biggest guy? The Devil Soar? Okay, I guess we keep the Devil Soar around. Maybe I shouldn't have Anduin when I did. I feel like I'm probably in good shape, though. Finally, we do a Cabal. I have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I mean, we can just Cabal this guy. Let me change your mind. We were 1 damage off lethal there. He's at 5. Okay. You have triumphed. This time. Well, we won. That was a weird game. He had like so many huge things for so long. And I feel like maybe, yeah, I feel like maybe I did pull the trigger a little bit early on the Anduin and maybe shouldn't have, you know, gone quite as aggro as I did. But even without like the ability, you know, Twilight Cabal, something awesome, the Twilight Mossy on his Tyrion was really good too. So 